hello today i'm going to be showing you a very important subject in revit okay it's a very important concept so once you understand parameters in revit then you mostly understand everything in revit so that's what i'm going to teach you so please continue watching this video till the end let's start so i'm going to be opening a project i'm going to new and say okay it's opening now it's opened so for example let me draw one small wall so here we have a wall in case if you want to understand parameters then you should understand what is a instant parameter and what is a type parameter so whichever object you select in Revit or whichever family you select in Revit. So in the property, here you can see in the property, whichever is readily available. These informations are instance parameters. Okay, here you can see location line, base constraints, base offset. These are instant parameter. If you click on edit type, and here whatever you see here these are type parameters okay and here in the top you can see the family and the type so here the wall family is system family basic wall type name generic 200 mm okay so i hope now you have understood when you select any element whichever is instantly available these are instant parameter whichever is available when you go to edit type and whatever is you see here these are type parameters okay now you should understand what is a model group and what is value varying by instance or a value varying by group for example i have a wall here okay so now you are supposed to understand what is a model group so here I have a wall here. I'm going to copy this wall two, three times, okay? So I have three walls and I'm selecting all the wall and here you can see create a group. If I click here and I'm giving a name group one and I'm going to say, okay. Now you can see if I select one wall, the all the three walls are getting selected because they are in group, okay? If you want to ungroup, you can click here then this will become individual elements. I can select ungroup and now you can see these are individual elements. I'm showing you because these are very important to understand what is a group in Revit. Okay. So now let's continue with the parameters. To create a parameter, you have to go to manage under settings or above settings. You can go to here you can see project parameters and below there is a shared parameter icon so you should read you should read before you try so here let's read project parameters specifies parameter that can be added to a category of an elements in a project and used in schedules so project par parameters cannot be shared with other project or families. To create a shared parameter, use shared parameter tool. So here, you can see shared parameters that can be used in multiple families and project. Use shared parameter to add specific data that is not already defined in a family file or a project template. So your shared parameter is supposed to be unique from what is already used. That's it. So here I am using Revit LT and I have these two types only. In case if you are using a full version of Revit, then you'll be having an, uh, one more parameter type. That's a global parameter. So but very importantly, you need to understand what is a project parameter and what is a shared parameter. Let's continue with the project parameter. So if you click on the project parameter, so 
so here you can see we are in project parameter dialog box so we have a filter option we can search here whatever is available in case if you want to create new you should click on add then this window will be popping up so here you can see parameter type project parameter you should read each and every line in Revit so let's read can appear in schedules but not in tags so I'm going to show you what it means okay can appear in schedules but not in tags okay so let's create a, a parameter so I have drawn the wall okay so let's consider that that wall is being constructed by a contractor and I'm going to create a name as a parameter for example let's say contractor name okay contractor name is a parameter I'm going to say it's a common discipline and it's a text parameter and this group under let's group under data and this is going to be instance parameter and the value can vary by group instance so in case if you have a group of elements you can have varying values for each instance so here you can select any category so I'm going to select wall and I'm going to say okay so this window is very important so I'm selecting project parameter I'm giving a name contractor name discipline type of parameter and group parameter under data and this is instance and this can vary by group instance and here I'm selecting wall okay this is very important to understand and let's say okay so here you can see the contractor name has been added okay and I'm going to say okay now if I select wall in the property if I come down you can see under data I have contractor name so here I can type any name for example I'm going to say contractor A okay and select this one and say contractor B and select this one and say contractor C so this parameter can be can be used in a schedule but not in tags for example I'm going to annotate I'm going to take a tag and I'm taking so this value for example in case if I have a tag that can read our parameter then so the contractor A B C it can appear here so what am I going to do I'm going to edit this tag so I'm going to select I'm going to edit family I'm going to select the label and I'm giving edit label here whichever the parameter values are available so here whichever the parameters are available so it will be visible here so here I should be selecting contractor name so the contractor name parameter is not available here because we have created project parameter so this cannot be used in a tag so that parameter is not available here okay let's close and say no in the tag the contractor name parameter cannot be extracted or cannot be given in the tag because that's a project parameter that's a good lesson now let's create one schedule I'm going to view going to schedule schedule and quantities let's say wall and here you can find the contractor name parameter is available okay so let me so 
select another type okay and say okay here you can see all the three walls with the contractor a b c so now i hope you have understood when you go to manage if you click project parameter when you add if you select project parameter that value can appear in schedule but not in tags okay so that's it so when you add a parameter that is going to appear in your properties and you can schedule them okay so now i'm going to be showing you what is a shared parameter so to create a shared parameter so i i can go to shared parameters and here you can see you should have a text file uh, to have a record of shared parameter in case if you don't have this file then you have to create one so i'm considering that you don't have the file so i'm going to show you how to create so here when you get this window to get this window you have to go to manage and select share the parameter and go to create let me create a new file here you can see i i already have a three files okay three text file i have let me create one more so you should have a unique name okay let's say the file name is schedule 1 and say save and here you should create a group let's say business info that's a group name and here after creating the group you can create parameter so now i can say company name and here i can select common i'm going to select text and say okay and i'm going to say okay again so now you can see i have just created a shared parameter but i have not selected any category to select a category after creating a shared parameter you should go to project parameter again and then select add you can select and then select so here you should be seeing your parameter here i can see my company name and say okay so now you can select whether it should be an instant parameter or type parameter or uh, the group under which category you can select again i'm going to select group under data and it's a instance parameter well you can vary by group instance here the only one difference is the same parameter you can use for multiple family that is the only difference and it can be appear in schedule and tag so here you can read can be shared by multiple projects and families exported to odbc and appear in schedules and tags so this is the only difference so i'm going to show you how it works here i have selected instance and here i have selected values can vary by group instance so here i can select wall and i'm going to say okay and let's say okay again so here it got added and i'm going to say okay now you can see if i select any of the wall here you can see company name here you can see the company name let's say 
here you can select say 456 select and you can type 789 and this value can appear in schedule for example I have a tag here so this value can appear in schedule and tag for example I have a tag here now I can modify this tag to read company name so I'm going to select the tag and go to edit family I'm going to select the label and edit label select the parameter remove and then here I can select company name so here I don't find anything here let's create a new one so I'm going to add a shared parameter and select company name and say ok I can select the company name let's add here I'm going to say ok the background I don't need so I have company name let's load into project and close I'm not saving this file I have given no and overwrite here you can see the same tag now it is reading the company name so I can create similar I'm typing CS here you can see the company name is 456 here it is 789 the only difference is the shared parameter can be used in the other project also for example I'm going to create new project okay so we have created two parameter one is project parameter and shared parameter project parameter name contractor name and shared parameter name company name so here you can see here if you go to manage so before that let me let me draw a wall when I select the wall so here you cannot see the contractor name or company name because it's a brand new project okay so in case if you want to add the existing parameters you have to go to manage and say share the parameter and here you can see company name and say okay now if you select the wall So the shared parameter got added let's go to project parameter and add again so here shared parameter select company name give ok and here i have to select so is it a type or instance i have to select then i can select the category and i can say ok now you can see this parameter got added it's now it is coming under text company name but the project parameter is project de dependent it cannot be shared between files if I go to manage if I take a project parameter I cannot add anything like an instantly I have to create again so every time I have to create so that is the only difference I believe now you have understood what is a project parameter and a shared parameter and how to create them in case if you have any doubt please watch this video again if you want to join my training please contact me on 9035623806 thank you bye bye